When you create dimensional constraints in AutoCAD, the nice thing is that you're going to create them using almost the same methods that you use to create any other kind of dimension in AutoCAD. So for example, when I'm creating a linear constraint, it's just like the linear dimension command. The linear constraint, though, is going to drive the size of the object. So to apply a linear dimension constraint, I'm going to click on the linear tool. AutoCAD is going to prompt me to specify the first constraint point or to pick an object. If I'm going to pick points, I'm going to move my cursor over here over the first point, and AutoCAD is going to snap. Notice that the object snap when I'm working with dimensional constraints looks a little different. It's a red circle X marker that appears over the desired point. I'm going to click to select that point, and then AutoCAD prompts me to select the second point. I'm going to move my cursor over here to select that point. When the marker appears again, I'll click to select it. Then AutoCAD prompts me to specify the dimension line location, and I can see a preview of the dimensional constraint. I'm going to click down here and position that dimension, and then it's going to show me the value, and I can simply click to position it, and then I'm going to either press enter to accept the value, or I can actually type it in. So I'm going to call this length. So I'm going to come in and I'm going to type the word length equal and then the distance. That way AutoCAD is going to keep track of that dimensional constraint that I just created using the dimension variable name length. So you can see it's just like creating a standard dimension, the only difference being that I'm now giving the dimension a name rather than specifying other parameters for the way I want the dimension to appear. But it's not a dimension, it's a dimensional constraint.